So now that I've rewatched Attack on Titan the final season part two, which is the worst episode and which is the best? Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good is the body the views and heavy spoilers for Attack on Titan the final season part two, you have been warned. Possibly the most ambitious season to date of Attack on Titan, this season had a lot of shocking reveals, great animation, fantastic development of certain characters. Which is the worst episode and which is the best of this part? It's just my list, you don't have to agree with me. So without further ado, let's rank all 12 episodes right now. Coming in at last place and at number 12, let's gather around the campfire. Episode 84, Night of the End. Night of the End had some really interesting character interactions and dialogues and just moments. I really loved the interaction between Jean and Hanji, sort of arguing back and forth of whether or not Eren is doing the right thing or not. What I love about this episode is the part with Yelena calling everyone out for all their wrongdoings. It kind of shows you that no one is truly in the right or wrong and no one's truly good or evil. But the reason why I wasn't a fan of this episode was just the directional and artistic choices. I wasn't a fan of all the trees just panning up and down. And also personally some lighting choices did make this episode feel the most jarring out of all the episodes of this season. But that's just my personal opinion. Number 11, episode 83 Pride. Now while this episode does have some of the best character design throughout the entire season and I really did like some of the emotional moments with Onyankopon and the Jaegerists. I have to admit but on rewatch this episode feels kind of fast. The chapter this episode was adapting had more or less the same pacing where things were just flying by. You just don't see enough of Falco's sad reaction to his brother dying. The whole Mikasa and Louise scene left a really sour taste in my mouth seeing how cold Mikasa was to Louise but at the same time I also felt like Mikasa was looking at her younger self the younger version of herself who was so devoted to Eren. You would have expected the scouts to have a bigger reaction to Annie. Number 10 we have episode 82 Sunset. I really enjoyed the interactions between Annie and Hitch and just seeing more of their dynamic and just Annie opening up to her about her past and what she went through as a kid, how her father treated her. Call me crazy but when Annie was talking about how her mother had an affair with an Eldian, I had this theory at the time when the chapter released that she could possibly be the lost daughter of Xavier? Who knows? Really loved the emotional breakdown that Armin had with Mikasa. He's always been seen as this cool, calm, collective dude, but this whole situation is just messing with his head and you just feel bad. Number 9, episode 77, Sneak Attack. I really love the scene with Gabby and Falco, with Gabby coming to the realization that they're no devils in design, but just human beings, and she finally understands Reiner and what he felt. Love the symbolism behind the bird cages being open. Love some of the 2D shots of the Beast Titan. Number 8, Judgment. The episode to start off and gear up the final season part two what a way to start with a bang error versus rhino great action great animation probably one of the most rewatchable episodes in terms of like the fights i love that moment where magiv confronts gabby he gives her a hug just showing you how much he cares for his eldian brats connie breaking down to onyaka pond damn you really felt his emotions there just absolutely been fed up by all his friends betraying him one after the other and he's just done and tired with all of this. Number 7, episode 85, Traitor. I think the highlight for me for this episode was the Samuel Daz interaction with Armin and Connie. Samuel just absolutely freaking out and breaking down Armin, remembering why Bertolt said what he said back in season 2 and they're in the same boat, they don't have a choice. That entire scene just gave me goosebumps dude. And of course some of that ODM gear action scenes with Reiner and Annie and just their transformation looks so Super cool man. And number six we've got episode 86 titled Retrospective. My gosh the action in this episode was insane. Everyone was just moving in this episode and probably the best episode in terms of action scenes and animation. My gosh there was some really nice ODM gear sequences and just slicing and dicing and the titans were just doing so many cool things. Falco's titan is my favorite looking titan so far. My king flock absolutely having a lot of these great moments. Him feeling like he's the one to save Eldia even though he's a little bit of a nutcase. We still love him. And the really tragic moment at the end of the episode with Magif and Shadis just coming together to team up to take down that ship. 
Oh my gosh, dude. What a way to end these characters. At number five, we've got episode 87, The Dawn of Humanity. I love how this episode was split into two sections. The first half being Mikasa's and the second half being Eren's. I love seeing Sasha back once again and just the gang just having fun in Mali and just him tearing up when he sees little Ramsey down below. And I just love the whole second half of the episode with... Aaron and him just setting up his plan to Historia and Flock. I would have preferred if they expanded on those moments because it did feel a little bit quick in a way. And of course the rumbling at the end, just the music and OST and just Aaron's horrifying found entire design mate that looked freaky. At number four we have got episode 78 Two Brothers. This episode just had a series of fantastic moments. Cop screaming out to Zeke begging him not to scream. Seeing all the people who drank the wine transforming. Pixies oh mate that was sad just the way the pure titans were just wrecking havoc afterwards and falco's pure titan against reiner and Aaron gets his head blown off mate this episode was on fast forward for me there was so much happening and it felt like two minutes and then the way the memories and the paths were designed in that weird sequence that beautiful and wonderful better than i could have ever imagined it to be number three Episode 80, From You 2000 Years Ago. The whole Yumira backstory, where everything started. I love this backstory. Just seeing how unfortunate this girl's life was from the beginning. I mean, they should have called this episode a series of unfortunate events because of the unfortunate things Yumira went through. Having her tongue removed, being a slave to this king. This girl just never had a break. And I love how Eren is just talking to Yumira, telling her she's not a slave. She's not a devil, she's a person. Him saying that was also him talking to himself. He's not a devil, he's a person as well. And just the whole rumbling just being activated, his design of his founding titan just going crazy in front of Gabby and just his really chilling speech towards the end. Mate, what a way to end the episode. Number two, we got- yes, sir, yes. Episode 81 titled 4. I really like this episode because we get to see everyone's reaction after Aaron's speech. Gabby and Kaya having this closure in the halfway point of the episode. Nicholas' little speech on how everyone has a little bit of a devil inside of them and that's why the world is the way it is. And then Q Shad is saving the Jaegerists who beat the living daylights out of him shows you what a man this guy is and then how everyone is just teaming up to take down the pure titans just really made me feel like I was watching old school Attack on Titan the ODM gears, the tie-in animations, oh, this episode was beautiful. The coloring, the lighting, my boy Reiner feeling so damn defeated. Poor Onyank upon realizing that his hometown's about to be destroyed, it had the feels. But the best episode of the final season part two is without a doubt. <laughs> Episode 79, Memories of the Future. I mean, what can I say? This chapter that this episode adapted from was probably my favorite in all of AOT. It was probably the most unexpected, shocking reveal. Had a lot of great character moments. I love the scene with Grisha and Zeke getting that closure between one another. Grisha having that mental breakdown after he killed the Rice family, even though he didn't want to, but his son was like, hey, you better do this, dad. I love the moment where Zeke is just looking so shocked at the fact that Aaron killed those kidnappers and just showing you how Aaron has never really changed ever since he was a kid. He's always more or less been the same. The big reveal that Grisha didn't actually want to kill the royal family, but Aaron forced him to. And everything that had happened was because of Aaron. And Aaron saw all of this at the end of season three, part two. Dude. This is top tier writing right here. Check out my full review of each and every one of these episodes, including Memories of the Future. Playlist link is down below in the description. But tell me in the comments down below what your favorite episode of the final season part two was. Did you like this ranking? Did you hate it? Do you agree or disagree with me? Tell me. Like this video, subscribe for more Attack on Titan reactions, reviews, comparisons, breakdowns, rankings, and more. But thank you for watching. And as always, a bold review signing out.